Uh, in this section, we will talk about what the loss matrix is and the base risk for an optimal action. So first, uh, we can view the loss matrix as a generalized cost or risk. Uh, so previously, the cost or risk mapped an observation to an optimal classification decision that will minimize the risk or cost. So now, the loss matrix will map an observation to an optimal action that will minimize the risk or cost. So let us look at it uh, in more detail. So previously, we wanted to classify an X to classes to minimize the risk or cost associated with the classes. Basically, we want to class uh, decide which class to choose so that the total cost or risk will be minimized. Now we want to decide which action to take to take to minimize the risk or cost associated with the classes. So basically we want to take an optimal action uh, so that the total risk or cost will be minimized. So if we want to view the cost or risk uh, that we previously discussed in terms of the loss metrics, then we just can uh, we just need to put the action uh, into the choosing a class, then uh, it can be the same as the previous discussion. So uh, we will uh, compare these two uh, concepts using an example. So we just uh, this is the same as what we discussed. So we just have the risk, uh, meaning that the when they are misclassified, one case is uh, more riskier than the other. Now, for this uh, loss matrix, with this loss matrix, we can uh, have uh, multiple actions. So, if there are two actions that we can take to treat the patients, so one is the chemotherapy and the other one is the medication. So, we can define... Uh, the the risk factor uh like uh like this so that uh, we are telling that it is riskier to treat the non cancer patients uh with the chemotherapy and here uh it's it's still riskier but less riskier than the previous one to treat the cancer patient uh with uh the medication so now we uh, define the risk and cost in taking each action. So from this loss matrix, we want to take an optimal action that will minimize cost or risk. This, this is what we are going to discuss. So let us look into the general notation and the base risk. So we first define the a number of alphas, alpha i's. So this number of of i's will depend on the total number of actions. So the alpha i's mean uh, all the possible actions to take for each class. Now, next we define uh, cost or risk in choosing action i for class j. So this will be, uh, we will use lambda to notate, notate this. So for in choosing uh, action i for class j. So we can uh, simplify this into the lambda ij and we can form a, a loss matrix uh, showing all the possible cases. So for example, in this matrix, so this uh, lambda 2 1 means uh, the, the cost or risk in choosing uh, action 2 for the class i. And this will be uh, the cost or risk for choosing uh, action 2 for class C. Alright, now uh, the decision rule is that uh, given an observation X, we map the observation X to the action I. So there will be a risk. So the risk in this case is, is called the conditional risk. So, given x, we choose the 
action i. So the risk uh, can be computed as uh, in this equation. So there will be the alpha ij. Uh, so from the loss matrix, so we will uh, sum all the uh, the multiplication product of these two terms. So uh, when the class j is the when x is classified into j, then the this will be the associated associated cost or risk for choosing action i for this x. Okay. So the total the, the summation of all this over the all the classes will be the cost or risk in taking action i for all the classes. Alright, and then using the base rule, we can also rewrite this equation to this. And the base risk will be uh, as follows. So the total risk will be over all the x, and with the probability of x, we sum all this uh, uh, conditional risk. So if we choose this uh, the action uh, such that the conditional risk is minimized for each x, then the total risk will be the minimum. So the minimum base, minimum risk we will call the base risk. So when the risk is base risk, then the each alpha the action is optimal. So let let me illustrate this uh, graphically. All right. So as I said, uh, so for the base risk, the actions are chosen for each x such that the condition risk uh, at each x is minimized. So an optimal action is chosen for each x. So, so for let's say we have three actions to take, and uh, for each for each x, uh, we uh, plotted the conditional risk like this. So by finding the base risk, we mean that uh, we choose the action that minimizes this conditional risk. So in this region, uh, we compare this all the three uh, con condition risks and then we chose the action that minimized the condition risk. So we chose action 2 in this region and then the same way we chose action 1 and here we chose action 2 and so on. Uh, this will be the set of optimal actions that will minimize the total risk which gives us the base risk.